I V M. A hundred bucks. That's all it takes to begin your journey with Bitcoin and Ethereum. No, really. With CoinSwitch, you can start investing in over a hundred cryptocurrencies with just hundred rupees. On top of that, there are zero charges for deposits and withdrawals, so you can trade, buy, sell, however and whenever you want. All of this, plus their extremely intuitive interface, makes CoinSwitch the perfect app for beginners in the crypto space. But don't take my word for it. Just download CoinSwitch for free and try it out for yourself. If you'd like more information on cryptocurrencies, tune into a show about crypto with me, Rohan Joshi, my new adventure on IBM Podcasts. CoinSwitch, kuch to badlega. Follow your passion. I mean, come on, that should be an obvious choice, right? If we're not doing that, then what's the point? But then again, whoever said that the word passion is synonymous with career or money or a job? Welcome to saying no to drama with me, Chetna. Should you follow your passion? Absolutely yes. Everyone's passion is not a money-making career choice. Also, passion is way more than just about what you love to do. It is also often about who you are. Let me give you a truth. And I know I've shared this in one of my earlier episodes when my podcast was called Positively Unlimited. Some people will earn by living their dream and some will earn to live their dream. You could be working and earning money by following your passion or you could be working and earning to follow your passion. Ultimately, it's what you are doing with that money. Here's another truth. Some people will understand and live their passion from their 20s itself. I mean, it will happen to them very early in their life, while some will only be able to do it in their 60s. And honestly, I ask you this, so what? What's the big deal? Maybe somebody's passion requires them to have lived a full life and to finally be free of any and every responsibility to really go out there and live it. All this is because we have a full generation that's looking for instant gratification, a lot of acknowledgement, endless validation and extreme highs in life. The lows are unacceptable. Let me give you a perspective before I jump to another aspect or turn the table on this whole follow your passion piece. What about that lot that has to work hard to pay bills and make ends meet? That doesn't have a roof over their head? of food on their plates are they being foolish by not following their passion or are they doing exactly what they need to do to survive for some people passion is a word that they don't have the luxury to even spell out for some people it's still about survival so if you are somebody who can actually say aloud that i would like to follow my passion you need to first be very grateful and thankful for the privilege that you have been born into And now let me turn the table on this whole idea that following your passion is equal to living your dream career or your dream job. Before you go chasing your passion, let's understand what is it that your job and career is supposed to do for you. On an extremely basic level, it's supposed to pay your bills. Yes, you were educated and raised so that you can be financially self-reliant. You don't have to ask mommy and daddy for money. No more pocket money for you. Earn it. The second thing that your job or career is supposed to do is to allow you to have productive days. Yes, you heard that right. To wake up in the morning and to do something with your day that is fulfilling and that is useful. And number 3, your job in career is supposed to create a space where you can use your skills and talents. And lastly, it is supposed to be a space where you can fulfill your ambitions. Well, if you have any. And I'm sorry, but i want to follow my passion is not an ambition it's a desire i want to follow my passion and achieve dash level of success that level of success that's the ambition and as for all of this talk about your career and job giving you a sense of purpose well your job is just one vehicle in your life you could get a sense of purpose at home through your hobbies and interests and through any other dream or aspiration that you have 
I mean, are you telling me that a homemaker who is extremely happy in being a loving wife, a loving mother, a loving daughter, a loving daughter-in-law, whatever other roles that she plays, has no passion or that she isn't following her passion? Who are you and me to say that that cannot be her passion? And no, it does not make her money. And no, in most cases, she doesn't even get appreciated or validated for it. So all of you out there who are sulking about your current jobs or whining about your current life space, the first question I ask you, do you know what you are passionate about? The second question I ask you, does your passion have the potential to give you all of the things that I listed out a job or a career should be giving you? Can it make you the money you need to make? Can it give you the space to be productive, to use your skills and talents? And can it fulfill your ambition? Do you even know what your ambition is? If not, then you need to stop trying to pin that be my own boss tag on yourself. It is okay if you are working for somebody else, if you are an employee, if you are in a salaried job. People in salaried jobs can also live their passion. And yes, a salaried job can also be your passion. Maybe you are in the field and industry that you are so passionate about. Maybe the role that you have right now is what you are so passionate about. Being an employee isn't half as bad. And no, someone else's life, maybe this someone is an entrepreneur, their life isn't better than yours. In fact, when I look at it, a lot of my friends who are working for someone else, live a far more luxurious life. Why? Because they've worked hard, they've managed their money well, they go to work, they come back and they spend their money wisely on what makes them happy. What you see as the other side of the grass being greener comes with its own baggage, its own shackles. Ask anyone who stepped out to be their own boss. They will tell you that they don't have a Monday from Sunday. You know the reel that's trending on Instagram as well, right? The one that says that I thought I'd have more time when I'd leave my nine to five job and then the person's laughing and the voiceover behind just says, ha ha, now I'm working 24 seven. What matters is how you use your resources to live the life you want to live. If you are an employee and you are passionate about traveling, then make sure that you use your holidays. Yes, those big leaves that you get, the long weekends, as well as the money that you earn to live that passion. That's absolutely fine. But here comes another question for you. Do you know what kind of life you want to live? Do you have a clear idea? If I told you to describe an ideal day, ideal week, an ideal weekend, would you be able to write down stories for me, narrating how these days would flow? And are you telling me that if this life that you want to live, these stories that you will narrate to me, if those can only be financed through a nine to five job, then you won't want to live it? Really? Are you that stuck on how you want to finance that life that you want to live? Maybe it's time to stop hitting that restlessness button constantly, telling yourself that my life isn't good enough because I'm working in a job or I have a business that doesn't do anything for me. I'm not passionate about this. Maybe you need to think about what you are passionate about, what kind of life you want to live and how your current job or your current business or your current financial space can help you live that life that you want to live. Follow your passion by all means. Live a full life, absolutely. But don't make it synonymous with your job or your career and then throw yourself pity parties. Or then don't go around throwing tantrums. If you want more perspectives and following your passion, well, there are a bunch of episodes I've done when this podcast was called Positively Unlimited. And those are all available on the IVM app as well as IVM website. You can also connect with us on Instagram and Twitter. Our handle is IVM Podcast. And you can DM me if you would like to have a chat about passion and following it on Instagram. My handle is Positivity Angel. Hey. 
Hey, it's been another great week on the IBM Podcast Network. On a show about crypto, Rohan Joshi is joined by Ashish Singhal of CoinSwitch Kuber as they break down the blockchain. Marathi Kirkiton, our latest show, is all about Marathi culture, tradition, literature, cuisine, and more. To make your rainy day better, hear from Manik and Dr. Rajiv Deshmukh sharing their beautiful moments in this first episode. On Cyrus Says, Lakshmi joins us to talk about Splainer.in and the Press Decode podcast. On Press Decode, our discussion over sports and mental health, keeping in mind everything that's been going on recently. On Kelniti, check out the preview of the first test match. And on Shunya One, find out why Intuit India is amongst the best places to work. Do follow us on social media. We're IBM Podcasts on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and LinkedIn. And remember, if you're enjoying this show or any other show for that matter, please do tell a friend. Word of mouth is the best way to spread the word about a podcast you love. And finally, we'd like to thank our sponsors this week. See it, Cred, Global Victoria, Bank of Baroda, Intuit India, and CoinSwitch Kuber. Hi, everybody. Just wanted to ask everyone for a quick favor. We're running a brand survey right now and would really appreciate it if you could let us know what you think about the advertising on IBM. Go to ivmpodcast.com slash survey and do let us know. As part of this, we'll be selecting 10 random participants and sending them some IBM swag. So do fill out those surveys.